Hey, hi guys, welcome back to the Slate Network. Today we are doing a Nigerian food mukbang. This is my best friend, Mika, and this is her first time trying Nigerian food. So she's really, really hungry, so we gonna get right into it. It's just the Say no bother with the best thing, girl. This I no say don't put no face thing, girl. Daddy lunch. Say your money are replacing, girl. Yo, daddy, no land on butt up your thing if you're good up, good up. Yeah. Why not be yes if you're good up, good up. Touch up yourself if you're good up, good up. Good up, good up, my girl. Yeah. Which one do first? What do you suggest? I would say, um. Let's get this food food together. <laughs> now we're gonna do the food food last, cause, you know, that's subjective. Um, I feel like once you get into all the other food, then the food food will make sense. Okay, so first we have the, you know what? I'm gonna say this too. No, this is fish. So let's do the fish and the um, recipes first. So this is the fish, the school fish. Yeah. And this is the rice and beans. Okay. Here, take your fish rice. Unless you want to do your, I don't know how you do your rice and then, because I do rice and fish on top. You know, fish. <laughs> I'm good. I should have asked him what kind of fish is this, but I'm pretty sure it's mackerel. Look, I'm gonna be all over you like one of them grandmas. <laughs> now grandmas watch you eat their food. <laughs> Sometimes the boiled one. Yeah, I heard before. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good on that. So what all? What did you try before? Everything. I had two. Yeah. I had the um 
So I had Gary, I had the fufu, and I had uh, another soup. I can't remember what it was. I think it was goosey soup. Jollof, of course. And I had the chicken. You want to get into the goat? Okay. I'm going to try it. Okay. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let me see. Okay. So this is the goat. I'm trying to think do I want to have you eat it with the rice and peas or the jollof. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it with the jollof. So here's the goat. First topic. So we're both born and raised in Chicago, right? Yeah. What has been your experience <laughs> living on the west side of Chicago up until this point? Like from, let's say, teenage years, high school, up until being an adult. I got mixed feelings about Chicago. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, growing up, the area that I lived in, it wasn't really like Chicago, Chicago. Like, we always felt like we was Somebody suburban. <laughs> because we're right across the street from Oak Park, so it's like we felt more of like a suburban lifestyle instead of like the hood. So, but we still claim the West Side. Messing up my street cred, man. Everybody think I'm from the hood. <laughs> you ain't from the hood. <laughs> Uh, I like it because you know all my friends the school that I went to was up the street you know all my friends we all went to the same high school so you know I liked it growing up but now as an adult I've been trying to get as far away from Chicago as possible but I'm always somewhere on the outskirts maybe 30-40 minutes away I can always get back here just to do whatever business I need to take care of but I don't want to live in Chicago per se. The parking, there. no, I can't do the parking. And then um, it's just so congested, so. Now, to that I will say, con congestion, as far as cities go, now that I've been to like other places like New York and stuff, nah, we ain't, we ain't hitting LA, we ain't hitting on the congestion side. We wanna talk congestion? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Move this out the way. Cause I'm gonna just do it straight from the bowl. Oh now stop picking up this. I'm moving it over for my food food. You gonna put the food in the bowl? I was just gonna leave it in the pit. Yeah. As far as an adult, okay, do you see yourself staying in Chicago for the rest of your life? No. I don't know where I want to, you know, end up officially, but I know I don't want to stay in Illinois. I just want to make sure I move when I'm actually prepared to move. Um, you know, nothing too hasty or anything like that. I just want to be somewhere where I'm going to be for a while. Now so where I'm gonna go and then jump up and leave and run to something else, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Could you see yourself moving out of the country? <laughs> well, I wanted to move to Jamaica. And that was like, that lasted probably a year. And then it's like, okay, back to reality. No, I don't see myself living out of the country. Um, just a quick out of the state first, first and foremost. If anything, I can see myself as like a vacation home out of the country. You know, like a summer home or, you know, winter home, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. Ready? <laughs> she was bent on trying to go on the other side. I saw them like you gotta <laughs> need it, right? I don't, but I just get in there. It's like some mashed potatoes. Okay, I'll take that. I'm glad. <laughs> All right, so we did the fufu. We did what was it? What was Um, okay, so oxtail. What did you think about the oxtail? It's spicy. We got oxtail soup. Yes, oxtail pepper soup, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real, real spicy. Like it has a, a real big kick to it. Mm -hmm. But the meat is real tender. Um, it's a lot of flavor. Like they really did their thing on the seasoning for this. Um, the soup poured over the rice and peas. It's really, really good. Um, and even scooping it up with that fufu, like that's a bad. <laughs> that's a bad. So, um, you did the fufu with the fish, and you did it with the goat. Which one you like better? I like it with both. I don't know which one I like better, but they both they both okay. Okay, okay. Getting the experience. What you think? Um. I don't know, I can't have this. <laughs> the soup. The oxtail. What do you think about the soup? Um, the oxtail soup? Oh, the oxtail soup is fine. I like the um, the flavor. Like, yeah, that was my first time having oxtail soup. Um, yeah, I like the flavor. Probably more so than the stew. Even though I'm a stew person, I love stew. Uh, especially fish stew. But, um, yeah. Well, I'm sure the fat gives it a lot of flavor, but... I can't, I can't try the fat because it's, it's, it's white. That's the thing with the fish. The fat is white, and I'm kind of scared to eat it because, you know, I like my fat crispy if I eat it. This is what the fat looks like in the soup. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor, but I'm not going to try that part. Try it. No. Just a piece. Did you try it? I told you I don't eat fat. You eat fat. I don't eat fat. <laughs> you eat fit. Okay, so um, travel. First trip post COVID. Do you know like? Huh? <laughs> First trip post COVID. Where are we going? Where are we going? <coughs> Ideally, I would like to go back to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Montego Bay is like my first home, second home, because here is home. But it's like my second home. That's where I always want to go, mm -hmm. Jamaica. I've been begging people for the past year to go to Jamaica. Anybody trying to go? I thought about that the other day when you said, you never begged me to go to Jamaica. You a lie. Yeah. Me you, she was so against going to Jamaica. Mm -mm, why you want to go to Jamaica? And blah, 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 blah. We can go to Barbados. We can go here. We can go there. Anywhere but Jamaica, y'all. Guess where she finna go? Or where she want to go? Or was about to go? What was it? That's for work. Jamaica. But that was for work. That was different. That was for coming. But she's supposed to be my homie, though. So, I, ideally, I would like to go back to Jamaica. I just, I just love everything about it. And that jerk chicken on the beach. <laughs> but um, if I couldn't go to Jamaica, 
I really, really, really want to visit a place like Fiji with, you know, like the, the huts on the beach or, um, you know, just sleeping on top of water. Like, that's my thing. Like, I really want to go sleep it on top of the water? Yeah, you know they had the huts on the little bridges over the water. Are you really going to sleep there? Yes. Where your ass going to be out in the ocean <laughs> Look, I'm going to be sleep, lay out in a hut. I'm trying to do it. I just want that experience. Like, that just says relaxation to me. Like, all around the board. Like, I can go there, get some sleep. I can get up, jump in the water and swim. I can do whatever I like to do. And it don't look like I have to shake no ass there either, <laughs> which is what I'm trying to stop doing, shaking ass. This girl, stop she want to shake ass everywhere she go. <laughs> is that the meaning of life? No. That's not the meaning of life. Hell no. <laughs> Shit, we over 30 now. Bones ain't the same. Shit. Knees cracking. She want to shake ass. As long as you got it. Use what you get. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. Mm -mm. No, but I I do a little bit of dancing here and there, but you know, I'm just, I'm just over the club thing. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not been a club person. I'm more of a lounge girl. I like to kick back, smoke a little hookah, something like that. I've never been to the clubs, but a nice party, that, I'm with it. I never stop that. I was just having a conversation with somebody that, today, like, Somebody asked me if I would ever stop, um, if I ever stop going to carnival and stuff. Like, once I stop there, I don't know. You have to pay money. It's simple. <laughs> so, since you went to all these other places now, for long, um, is Barbados still going to be one? Absolutely. Barbados is my heart. My, I always say my heart literally lives in Barbados. So I am a shell of a person here. <laughs> I'm serious. What was the other place? I've been out of the country since St. Lucia. Oh, St. Lucia, yeah. What about it? What about them? Uh, who's first, second, and third? Well, we know Barbados Saint, is first. St. Lucia, um, that's that's like a that's not on that that list. That's something I love St. I rate St. Lucia Carnival mm -hmm. over a lot of other carnivals, but that's not something like I would have to go and do this. I have to do. I say, um. As far as countries that I really want to visit, it would be like somewhere like Bali, kind of like for the on the relaxation trip tip. But I have to get to um, Trinidad. I really want to go to Trinidad for carnival and to like to like explore. So because I feel like I get the sense that it's gonna give me the same kind of type of vibe as Barbados. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to that. So where are we going to Africa? What's up with that? Man, ask Rona. <laughs> no, but. I was planning that for um, this December, but no, last December, December 21. But hopefully, what part? Um, you know, Lagos. Lagos. Um, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully we'll make it top of next year at least, top of 2022. Mm -hmm. At the latest. I really want to go to Africa. I don't know where. It needs to be like at least three weeks. Since I want to go from, you know, maybe like country to country. Oh, okay. I was thinking you were saying in the same place for three weeks. No, like I just want to see different places. I don't want to be stuck in like the same place. Spend a couple of days in, in one area and then move to the next and see different, you know, different things. But I really do want to go. I want to do a safari though. Girl, you don't like animals. I want to look at them, and not go near them, but you know they come up on you, right? They don't come up on me. They come up on the car. They come I want to do a drive people. through. I want to do the drive through, not the bus. Right? I am black. So yeah, you get tapping on your windshield, like what's up? I'm okay with that part, as long as I'm in the car and we got gas. No, mm -hmm. yeah, no. Well, yeah, I really want to do that. I really want to um, see the safari. So like two weeks in Nigeria, we've seen that in Canada. I thought. Like, we saw the, the signs for a safari, but I'm like, what kind of safari is this? <laughs> no damn Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> we want to ride some safari. Remember, Melissa? Oh, no. <laughs> she just 
just like me. I'm like, come on, let's go, let's go. We I know it go. couldn't have been nothing good about that at <laughs> Safari in Toronto. I'm good. <laughs> I had to see what it was. It might be birds walking right, across the drugs and <laughs> I'm like, this can't be good. No, she's like, you seen this sign? Let's go back. <laughs> she don't be with shit. Like, everything me and my sister want to do is laugh. Y'all ignore the warning signs. Look, ain't no safari in Toronto, B. <laughs> we got to try that suya. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. The food's getting cold. I know, right? Because my camera died, and it's like our third time trying this. But. Okay. All right. Everything good so far. Come on, uh, suya. Yeah, right. We're the, the one over. What? What'd you think it was gonna be? A meat popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> Not a kebab, a popsicle. <laughs> this girl said a meat popsicle. Okay, so what do you want to dip it in? What do you want to dip it in? I don't know. Let me taste this first. Eat it off the stick like <laughs> Look, somebody said kebab. Yeah, it's like this part is dry. Mm -hmm. like, it's not dry for the most. I can't even bite it. Um, this one for me. No soy yaku. Well, hold on. This is a softer piece. No. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too soft. All right, so you got like a what is that? Like turmeric taste or something to it? I know what you're talking about. I think it's ginger though. Or something, but yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know what you got. Oh, huh? I don't know what you got. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> so, could you ever see yourself living outside of the U.S.? I could see myself with a vacation home during the winter time here. Probably similar to us here, but Canada. I haven't experienced somewhere. it. I I, I would not move to Canada. Canada's not it. It's too damn cold. Yeah, too damn cold. And it's like if I'm gonna leave, it's gonna be somewhere, something that I can't get here. And you know what's funny? When everybody was telling me that, like when I was supposed to move to Toronto, everybody's like, "You gonna go leave somewhere cold and go somewhere else cold?" I'm like, I mean. It don't really matter. I've been in the cold my whole life. Then I thought about it, and then I realized like I could live somewhere else warm. It's like it's always <laughs> there for you to visit, but I'm not. I'm not. I wish I would. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Oh no, I was tripping. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I almost be feeling like I don't even want to purchase a home somewhere where it's cold, like right here. Mm -hmm. I yeah, really I get want to have a house somewhere where it's nice and mild. It don't even have to be hot all the time. It can be nice and mild, but the snow, the freezing cold, negative 35, no. Mm -mm. But, like Paris and stuff like that, like, I've never visited those places, so I don't know if I can say that I would move somewhere like that. I, I don't think, have that experience yet. I think I could live in London. I think London, like, and maybe it was just because of the time that I went, but... I could see myself at least spending the whole summer in London. London is a vibe. When I tell you like there's so many people like us, so many people, there's Africans, there's, you know, people from the States, there's just, it's kind of like another one of those melting pot cities and it's like, um, yeah, 
London is definitely something you have to experience as a black person, mm-hmm. for sure. Really? Yeah, as a black person. As a black person, for sure. It was black as hell. Like, it don't get no ba- no blacker than stepping to Earth, Wind, and Fire in the middle of London, like, in the middle of Notting Hill. It doesn't get blacker than that. What's the weather like? Um, summer was hot as hell, and I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't expecting that. Like, it was like 90, and it might have just been because of the congestion, how congested it was. But that's another place, speaking of congestion, like, yeah, we ain't got nothing on places like London. But um, it was super hot, super, like, almost, if you wasn't catching the vibe, it would be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But it was really, really hot in the summer. The summers are really hot. I'm told the summers are really hot. The winters are really cold. You went in June or August? August. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think because it was really hot in Toronto in August, too, right? It was hot. really hot when we made it to um, where the parade was. But it was okay, hot. it wasn't. Okay, so it was, yeah, it definitely wasn't. Anywhere. Everywhere wasn't hot. But, you know, like when we went to um, Niagara Falls, where the sun is directly beaming on you, yeah, it's hot. But it wasn't like, I felt like hot all the time. Well, it was extremely hot. Yeah, London is definitely like way hotter. London is like damn near Chicago hot. Um, favorite trip? You know what my favorite trip is? No, the actual trip, not the place, the actual trip. And why was it your favorite trip? Hmm. <laughs> what else about it made it your favorite trip? I think my. Was it my first or second time to Jamaica? Mm-hmm. It was wild. <laughs> Wait, I'm saying like everybody like warned us like you don't leave off the resorts and you know it might have been the first time you don't leave off the resorts you know it's dangerous they prey on you women and stuff and blah 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 but I'm kind of adventurous so. And you yeah, and it's like, <laughs> if I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going. So, and I was younger than that too, so. Nothing moves. I was shaking ass at that time. So, <laughs> we went off to the resort. We went to strip clubs. We went to different bars and clubs. We went all up in the hills. We did so much stuff. Like, in the, hills. the weed. Yeah, like, we went up. I don't know where. Don't ask me where. That was the first time, and I've been there probably seven times now. And um, the weed wasn't hidden, though. I hate when people say that. Let me just say, I hate when people say the weed in other countries, like in Africa and the Caribbean, don't hit. You have to keep in mind, their stuff is organic. Our stuff over here has a bunch of shit sprayed on it and just like... It's not that organic how it's amazing. But look, I wasn't even really smoking then, and I'm like, I should have been feeling something, especially right but away. But you felt good, right? It was just like doing something. It's like smoking grass. <laughs> you know what smoking grass? So, I don't know where we ended up getting some more weed from, and then um, we was planning on going to a show around like 8 o'clock. So it was probably like three. We said we was gonna take a little nap and then, you know, get up, get our faces ready, get dressed for uh, the show. We woke up, it was three in the morning. <laughs> but, the weed weed. Weed. <laughs> <laughs> but the weed wasn't in. But the weed wasn't in. Now that weed shut us down and I only woke up because I was tweaking. I thought somebody was outside the window calling me. And I'm like, good. <laughs> But we had so much fun. Like, we just did everything. Like, walking, coming back in, and, and you know, the birds is chirping, and the sun is out. Like, coming in the wee hours of the morning with the same outfit we left with, you know, the day before. And it's like, people looking at us like, did they have it on yesterday? And walk a train. <laughs> yep. So, while y'all just now getting out, getting started, we ending our night in the morning. So, we, had, we just had so much fun. So it was like, that was my first time to Jamaica and it was epic. So it's like, I got to go back for more and more and more. So I ended up like really just falling into it. Like that's why it's my favorite place. Mm-hmm. Isn't it crazy how like, um, no matter how much fun or how much you experience on a trip, it's always like, 
every time you go is different. It's something else that you didn't see or didn't get to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I fell in love in Jamaica. Yep. I almost lost her, y'all. She was almost <laughs> on the market. Almost lost her. <laughs> Those two that's sitting by the water just booed up. Mm-hmm. You know how that look. You read the books about people booed up out of water. You know you ain't getting up back. It's over with. <laughs> she gone, dog. No, she gone. But yeah. Definitely. And what's your number one trip? Um, now I was thinking about that when you was talking about it. I honestly don't know. I would say my second trip. My second trip to uh, Barbados. I don't know. Our, our trip, our, my birthday trip was pretty memorable. It just had a lot of those memorable moments. Even though it wasn't like perfect, it just had a lot of memorable moments. But my second trip to Barbados, when I went right back, because we went in June. I went like, back. your birthday set it off. Like, yeah. It was, it was no coming back. She was gone. She gone. She gone. <laughs> I was obsessed with Barbados from that moment. But um, that second trip to Barbados, we went in June. I ended up going back in October, and that's when I was with my ex, and he took me all around the island and um, just exploring different spots and really seeing how people live and like seeing how different I was on the island and how like I just kind of went with the flow. I knew what to do, knew where to go, and then by that third trip I was. But um, what was that? The fourth or fifth trip was Carnival. It was Carnival? That was my first Carnival. So I think that was my favorite, my favorite trip because you know the crop over. Yeah, the first, my first crop over. Everything was perfect. Um, the parties. Um, we was actually me and my ex. We were actually getting along, and he really made the experience for me. He wasn't tripping on me. He took me everywhere I wanted to go, everywhere I needed to go. Pick me up. I got snatched out of a few parties, but it was cool. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was probably my favorite. Um, just when I realized how to move in Barbados. That was, that was my favorite thing. Yep. So overall, how would you rate this experience? This was dope. I'm, I'm just really glad that you liked everything for the most part. Um, Cause you hard, man. You drive a hard bargain, man. It's hard to please help when it comes to anything, but really food, she is really picky with her food, so. I just think she's very impatient with me. How? Because you know another. I'm very open-minded to stuff. However, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. But I, I've never been like a picky kid. It's stuff that I can't eat. But if somebody tell me to try something, you don't have to beg me too much unless it's like pig or something. I, I think you're you're open to trying new things. You'll try it. But I feel like a lot of times you go into it with the mindset that this is going to be some bullshit. What? And it kind of alters. <laughs> no. Look, I know somebody... You do like to be pleasantly surprised, though. I know somebody who go in with the man that it's going to be nasty, and even if they like it, love it, still going to say it was nasty just so that they don't have to admit it. Me, I might think that it's nasty. It might sound nasty. Like, even alligator. Like, somebody told me, you got to try alligator. I'm like, that's... You never had alligator papados? I went and got some, and I'm like, it's hidden. It's a little salty, but it's good. It's like But I'm like, you know, I always... It sounds nasty. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff that's foreign that you don't know of. Goat? Come on now. She I was, I was, she was shook that. about this goat. She like, she almost sent it back. I'm glad you got it though. Because now you can say you know what goat tastes like. It's, it's a little, the outside is a little hard. You got to have curry goat though. That's what we should have. We should have got some curry. The outside is like, it's, it's hard. Like it's frying too hard or whatever. Like it's kind of rough and outside, but like to get to the inner part, like mm-hmm. it's doable and you got flavor to it. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not gonna say it was amazing, but it was it was okay. Yeah. So overall, how do you feel about Nigerian food? Overall, I would, would you get it again? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. The one thing that I feel like I wasn't gonna like, we didn't order the okra. Oh, you don't eat okra anyway, so. But I only tried it one time, and it was slimy, but I don't know, like, it's super wet. So oh, wait, did you have the okra that I made for, um, no. for Junti? No. Oh. How about you? I only tried okra one time, and I didn't like it. Mm. Um, but I watched some stuff on YouTube about the food and stuff, and it's just like, man, I don't like the okra slimy and this and that, so I kind of had it in my mind, like, 
don't even want to get it. I don't want to say something that, you know, mm-hmm. some slip out. I'm like, I'm not even going to try it. But I should have because it might be good. Okay, we'll try it next time. Then. We'll go to a different spot. We'll be trying next <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> You want to talk about the experience? Yeah, we ain't got to talk in the restaurant, but man, listen, my people, <laughs> my people who I call by my name, please. Yo, we waited, what, two and a half hours for this food? Two and a half hours it took them to make this food. First of all, we tried to get up early. She been over here since like, it's what time? It's like, she got here at 12. It's like six o'clock now or something. Um... They wouldn't answer the phone. We called them for like an hour, hour and a half. They wouldn't answer the phone. So it's like a 40 minute drive from my house. So we like, forget it. They open, let's just go up there and order when we get there. Get there, place the order. They was like, you know, oh, well, it's going to take about 30, 40 minutes. Like, but kind of saying in a way like, oh, uh, you may not want all this food. So it's going to be busy. But they took our order and 30, 40 minutes turned them like, to like two, two and a half hours. So yeah, it was almost like we went outside and went to some stores and everything and came back and uh, maybe they wasn't because they didn't have us to pay up front. So maybe they was expecting like, oh, they're going to leave. We're not going to start on the mm-hmm. So when we got back, it's like, oh, y'all back? Y'all right. They were surprised to see us when we walked back through the door. Like, you told us to come back in 30, 40 minutes. Like, oh, y'all actually came back? <laughs> what the? And I came from, like, my face is giving me away. I'm sitting here like. <laughs> She's starving. <laughs> like literally, check my temperature, man, because I never waited that long for no food. Yeah, that was crazy. That and it's sad because that'll turn you off from the whole experience. Like if you were doing this by yourself, like you wouldn't did it. Like you I would have left. Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't. Uh, it's over. It, I, you know me. I mm-hmm. wasn't meant to be. Mm-hmm. So if y'all can in the comments, please drop us some more um, tips on Nigerian restaurants in Chicago because I only know. A couple and don't none of them answer the phone so please if y'all in chicago drop us some names and information on some some good nigerian restaurants uh responsive great customer service good food all of that please all right so what are we doing next uh you this? oh you can't do seafood my best friend is allergic to seafood like right? i'm cursed <laughs> Okay, so um, maybe we'll do. Oh, you can't do sushi either. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, there's some other Caribbean dishes that you need to try. Oh, we can do Asian food. I don't know where I'm gonna find Asian food. But yeah, we can do Caribbean food. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks guys for tuning in. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think below, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, you forget the big life Say money, they a bucket for the big life Come let me fill this socket with the big life Yeah, I'm a bruise, bruise, bruise Cause you're tight, tight